Hello everybody, today we're going to be having a playoff force inversion 00203 created by MK. So a very big thank you to MK. Uh, from the description, this is a simple introduction to the force inversion cube gravity switching mechanic. As we have the cold metallic clank of a Portal 1 style cube. As you see, yes, Portal 1 stylings, which means I don't get my cool Portal gun paint job, so... Again, if anybody knows how to fix that, please do let me know because, you know, my gun looks so much cooler with the logo on. But yeah, we've got a purple fizzler, purple fizzler, which does not allow our passage, but does in fact allow the passage of select aperture hardware. As such, again, with that cold, cold metallic clang, they must have switched to a more sort of plasticky materials by the time of Portal 2. Uh, buttons on the ceiling, which would make perfect sense with the whole force inversion gravity switching thing which at some point we get to play with. Yes, if I press upon you, pressing upon you, another cold metallic clank, and you are the inversion button. I would assume you are the inversion button. Ah, the inversion. And I can de-invert you too. Cool, so you need to go press the thing on the ceiling, right? Which means I actually probably need to line you up a bit better than that with the actual button on the ceiling. So force inversion of you. You go up there and roll away inconveniently. I feel like... That's actually slightly an issue with the whole anti-gravity cube type thing, is that the buttons aren't all that sticky at times. You have to have them perfectly lined up. You can maybe do with those being sort of inset a little bit so that the cube can't actually go anywhere else. Uh, we are apparently going to need two more cubes for our exit though, and we've only got one of them and it's needed on the ceiling. So into the next area we have a cube delivery directly above us where a cube is already force inverted. So what are you? You're just a button to reopen the exit. So I need to get that cube back into the other side, right? Where there is this conveniently placed portalable panel for us to use. So let's leave one out here as well. Let's de-invert you so you drop back down and we can pop back in here where you have re-gravitated towards the floor, which gives us the two cubes that we need to go ahead and sit on these buttons. So I'm assuming these will all be relatively simple, but again, it is like an introduction to this kind of mechanic. So round to the next one. In the next one we've got yet again the cold metallic clank of a cube smacking the floor. Uh, force inversion button. Force inversion button. Ceiling button. Purple fizzler upon the floor with a button concealed underneath it which connects to our exit via some glass where we've got another force inversion button. Yes we've got two force inversion buttons so what you'll do this one over here will open up the exit for us there, right? We'll open up the half exit for us. And yeah, again, there's that thing where it sort of rolls away. They've got to be kind of perfectly lined up to sit perfectly square on their ceiling target. So you go do that again for me and once again, roll away ever so inconveniently. I feel like um, what could really sort of suit this mechanic well is if it had uh, buttons that sort of were designed for it. Like, um, actually, the button that accepts cubes, right? You know, the cube accepting square one. That may actually catch it just a bit better than the regular floor button. That's about right. You go do there. Yeah, see, like, if it's ever so slightly clipped off to the edge, they very aggressively roll away up on the ceiling. So you sit there, and with a little bit betterness, go do there. Yes, thank you. Cool. So there's a force inversion button in here as well, right? And what are you? You're another back through the door. Wow, that's a short-ass timer. Okay, so you're another back through the door unlock kind of deal. And you'll de-enforce the you. Uh, I'd press you now, but that's going to lock me in here, right? With this incredibly, incredibly short timer. Is that even enough time to get to the door? Yeah, you probably could just in time. Uh, I do, however, have a pretty good idea of what you want me to do. So let's put a portal about there. A portal above the purple fizzler, which... Actually, I can stand on it to line it up even better, is there. Then if we go via this way round into here and we deforce invert with this button, you should just drop straight into there and do the exit. Yeah, that's sort of a... That's a nice sort of what I'd assume to be a classic example of what you could do with this mechanic. So after that one, I feel like that was somewhat introductory. So introductory? Introductory. An introduction, you know what I mean. Uh, we've got a cube delivery button here cube delivery button that drops onto the panel in the middle of the particularly murky Portal 1 styled goo. 
button which is square and X. Square and X. Square and X is a couple of moving platforms. Okay, so there's going to be cube movement type thing. Um, and you are our force inversion, yes? Where does that go when they go back up the tube? I feel like that's something Aperture probably never accounted for. The cubes aren't supposed to go back up them like that. Can I? Screw it slightly. Go back up? Oh, I bet I could get it to go back up there if we were really quick about it, right? Oh. You're not going to fizzle it whilst it's in midair. Can you not fizzle a midair cube? That's kind of interesting. Or have I broken something? Let's deforce invert you. And now you'll fizzle? Yeah, you'll fizzle when you're back on the floor. That's interesting. I feel, again, that's something the game this time, rather than Aperture, never actually accounted for being a thing that would happen. I do want to try and get them to go both back up the tube, though, just to see if I can break things a bit better. Ah, nah, I should probably stop screwing around. Okay, you deforce invert and drop into the goo. And give me a new one then, please. Drop onto there. Uh, that is a portallable surface. That is a portallable surface, so let's get you onto that moving platform like so. Uh, I guess I could just move you over into the middle. Are you portallable? It's kind of hard to see. You don't... Ah, uh, no, you're not portallable, but we can force invert you, right? If I stay just on here and press that. Will you ride across force inverted in the right place? You do. Cool. Which means you should now quite happily drop on this button there. I said quite happily drop on that button there. You clearly don't quite want to play along. And you aren't auto-respawning, so let's drop a new one out to there. Right on the edge, probably should have done it more gently. Manuvulate you over to the middle again. Force invert you to go up to... Yeah, these cubes like to roll around a little bit too much, don't they? Uh, let's, let's start again. Is there a place I can fizzle with? Ah, no fizzler back here. You deactivated. Interesting. Okay, well, in that case then, let's... Uh can't relocate my portals anywhere, can I? No, we're just going to have to sort of rely on the cube playing along. Um, you're not... No. Okay, you drop a new one there and hope it stays yes, close enough to the middle. Let's manuvulate back over. Let's force invert you, so you're clearly going to roll off the edge again, aren't you? No, 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 you're going to play along. Fine. Uh, then you manuvulate all the way over there. And hopefully now... Deforce inversion will just deliver you not as neat as I'd like, but yes, that, that totally works. Cool. So uh, they do have like a few issues. They tend to roll around a little bit more than you'd like with this sort of mechanic. Does totally work though. And I would actually like to see more of it. Any sort of new mechanics in this game are always fun to play with. Uh, I believe this is actually, did I say already? A mechanic developed by Arang, the gravity switch. I'm pretty sure I said that already. It's been, what, less than, like, ten minutes? I should probably be able to remember. Uh, that has dropped a cube down onto a staircase, and it's rolled to the bottom. So let's hope that cube wasn't pregnant. Or was, depending on your particular point of view. Uh, in over in this side, we've got an elevator on the floor here. Connects to a ceiling button all the way up there. Another cube. Big bit of fizzler blocking us from uh, this side. And a force inversion button here. So you, clearly want to ride all the way up into there. Now that one's actually sunken in, so that one should just sort of slide up in there and sit there quite happily. So if we do you, and it's quite high up, which means you probably give me enough time to get onto this elevator. An elevator that takes us up to our exit, our exit, which is cube connected to the button in the first room. So this is kind of puzzle that we already did, right? Let's de-invert you, you drop down. Uh, we're going to need to invert you to a point that you actually come out of here. So if we do there and do there, how does that work? How does that work if I make you go sideways with force inversion? Wait, I can. Can't because I'm going to have to go through a fizzler to do that. Interesting. Does that mean you need to be pre-force inverted? Let's pre-force invert you there then. You roll up to the ceilings, do you? How does that work with sidewaysness? You just roll out. Yeah, okay, fine. That will drop you down quite conveniently in this side, like so. That means we can bring you over here and line you up with uh, this button right here, also recessed into the ceiling for convenience sake. 
And you also need to be underneath this one. There. Yeah, about there should probably be fine. Let's press this button. Force inversion activates. I get on on here. Takes us up to our open exit, which does in fact appear to be our exit. There is an old school Portal 1 style elevator. Okay, that was Force Inversion 00203, created by MK, and recommended by MK also, so a very big thank you to MK for that. Yeah, it's uh, it's quite a cool mechanic. I feel it's still a little, little bit buggy. It needs more, like, chamber design around the actual mechanic to make it a bit more smooth to play with. And for some reason, I also feel like it sort of suits the Portal 1 aesthetics more than it would the Portal 2 aesthetics. I don't know why that's a thing, but it popped into my head, and it's difficult to fill airtime. So I'm going to say it. So uh, yeah, that's the end of that one. And I will just warn you now that if you force invert too much, that's how you become a Sith. So be careful. That was awful, wasn't it? Yeah, sorry. Thank you very much for watching. Catch you later.